You know, it's just a generally yucky day today. When I first got up, it was, well, I didn't, I didn't even look outside, but I saw that the road was kind of wet and, and my weather forecast said that it was mixed rain and snow. So then later on when I opened all the blinds, the sun was out. It looked pleasant, a little bit breezy, but pleasant. So I went out, I wanted to go to the school and get some material for one of the classes that I have to teach and I wanted to check that I had indeed locked my cupboard that contains my iPod um, speak the thing and my dictionary and my grammar book and all that. I didn't bring home my grammar book. Damn. Great. Anyway, I confirmed that I had indeed locked it, got my stuff, checked my lottery tickets. <laughs> that is such a a joke, but, and came home. Now there's absolutely nothing in terms of good weather out there. The sun has disappeared, the sky is gray, and it just finished coming down, uh, I guess, hail or sleet. <laughs> I mean, it didn't do that while I was out there, but it's pretty crappy now. It's stopped again. But that's just not nice and the temperature is two degrees so obviously it's colder up there and warmer down here but just not nice thank goodness it's not doing what it's doing in Europe all of you that are suffering from the Icelandic um, volcano um, breathing nothing but horrible stuff into the air you know people keep on looking at this cloud over over Europe or over Iceland and then um, we feel the repercussions by having many canceled flights and talking about all the dangers for airplanes and you know how it can just scrape everything and mess everything up and you can you know, have a, a an engine stop and stuff like that life life threatening but what did, does this volcano stuff do to human lungs like if you're breathing it in up there if, if it's causing all this damage to airplanes, does it, does it not do damage to other stuff? I don't know. I didn't look that up. Probably it does. I don't think it can be a very good thing for you. I mean, how could it be? Okay, now I can't, I can't. I'm going to find out. Hang on. Alrighty, it doesn't look that good. There is potential respiratory and eye irritation. And when it comes to long-term effects, there's not enough documented evidence, but there is silica in volcanic ash, and this could cause silica Conisis, silicon. Mm. I read too quickly and left the site too quickly. Anyway, there's, there are potentially long-term damaging, potentially damaging long-term effects. There you go. Have 
to do the order of adjectives. <laughs> I can teach it, but I can't speak it. I can't talk that stuff. So, am I ever glad that I'm not over there? Because right now, the air is pretty good over here. But, <laughs> and we thought that we could... alleviate the effect of global warming by throwing something, some, you know, stuff into the air. My goodness, that could be so damaging and so, I mean, what consequences when you mess with nature? I mean, that, nature messes us up in its own ways, but when we do the things that nature does on its own without thinking of the consequences, I mean, millions and millions of dollars are lost and health effects you don't know and so on and so forth don't mess with mother nature because she messes with us all on her own and it's pretty disastrous why would we well, I suppose anyway so yes, my drawer was closed, my, my filing cabinet was closed, so if it is open on Monday, I guess that's what I was trying to say, if that filing cabinet is open on Monday, <laughs> sure, I drove all the way to work to find out if people were messing with my stuff, damn right. Anyway, I better get back to work, and uh, talk to you later, have a good weekend.